Hello everyone, so I hope you can see me. Uh, my sister gave me a camera that has better quality than the one that I was using. And so what I'm going to do today is a touch up on my flat ironed natural hair. Um, I got it clipped. I had her clip it for me, my oldest sister, yesterday. So let me turn some light on. Some more light. using a Remington flat iron. It is on 300 degrees right now. My scalp has been itchy and might be the grease that I'm using or maybe it's um, shampooing it to dry or something but it's been greasy so start off with my bangs. Gotta be careful. Um, because some flat irons don't have like much space between the plates and the plastic. Um, and you have to be careful not to burn your scalp when they're like that. So I'm starting with my bangs. To curl, you just want to turn the flat iron. Um, depending on how sharp you, how big you want, or how curl do you want it to be you would adjust um, how much you're pulling on the on the flat iron on your hair with the flat iron so if you want it more curly then you want to apply more more force to to the turn for example if you want this to curl you want to squeeze it and kind of pull harder than what you would and you get that's the way you get tighter curls And keep going. It's kind of the idea. This is what I compared it to. I'm trying to explain it to somebody. When you curl ribbon with scissors. And you turn your scissors at an angle. Like this. And you put the ribbon on. I don't have the right kind of ribbon. But you put the ribbon on first it's straight and you want to make it curly so you um, push it against the blade of the scissors and kind of pull it up and oh, it got some curl to it and that's uh that's kind of what you're doing with your flat iron is putting an angle to it so that when your hair is being pulled against it it's getting a curl in it you can also do like spirals with a flat iron you don't have they don't have to be just this kind of curl but do be careful because flat ironing can lead to split ends and I have had some so you make sure you apply heat protection um, before you go flat iron some people say don't use grease because it weighs down your hair, but I have grease in mine. It's better than not having anything at all or than having something that's not going to protect your hair enough. So, keep going. So we had a blizzard yesterday and I hope the person that told me we had a snow day at school today knew what he was talking about because I didn't go to school today. But we had so much snow that we couldn't open the front screen door. So I went through the back door through the backyard where the dog is and I opened the gate and went to the front and shoveled out our passage to our front screen door because it was blocking the way of opening it so and then I did some silly videos which 
If you look on my videos, you'll see it's having some having some fun out in the snow. One thing you can try doing to try to help you avoid split ends is when you get to the ends, don't keep the flat iron there too long. Nice. I, I know that ends being straight are nice. Um, but you gotta be careful because you can get them split at the end. There are different kind of hairstyles you can do, like this one. Um, I, I did this style when I was staying in Southern Illinois, and I had my hair like coming around the front and maybe down in the back, and that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now. But I change my hairstyles up a lot. to the back here. And you can learn to, um, if this is something that, you know, something that you think you'd be able to do is learn to use your feelings instead of your eyes. And it might take some practice. You might get burned a few times. <laughs> but once you learn it, then you don't need to try to look in a mirror while you do your hair. Just trying to hold a mirror and flat iron in the back and look in the mirror while you do it. That could be kind of challenging too. Just curling the back now. Oh. I've done flip styles in the past with my hair. Um, I used to wear it flip before I went natural too. I've been natural for like going on two years. Be this is February 2nd, 2011. I went natural around um, June, July of 2000, um, 2009. So all last year I was natural. Yay, thank God. And I'm still natural. So my hair, I had already flat ironed it. That's why it's not in its natural condition. But if it were wet, you could tell it was natural. It's definitely been different than um, than having relaxed hair, having natural hair, because the hair shrink. Well, my hair shrinks so much when it's wet, and it's not the easiest to get through it when it's wet, but. It is worth it, um, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, it 
is challenging. It does get challenging to deal with it. But knowing that you're not putting chemicals on your scalp, on your hair, whatever, then that's a good thing to know. So, it's worth it in that sense. Because I don't know what those chemicals are doing. And hopefully my hair is stronger than what it was with relaxers. So my hair would get kind of brittle. Keep going. At the end you can choose your final style. Like if you don't like how it's coming up. Right now it doesn't look so, it doesn't look too, too, um, up to date, but I'll figure something out. Like when I'm doing my hair, I don't always know what style I'm going to do when I'm starting off. Or I might start off with the style and might not come out how I expect it. That's when you alternate what, what you've done. Oh my god, I still got a lot in the back to do. I use that other technique where you use the um, comb as you flat iron. So instead of doing like I'm doing, combing it out and then flat ironing it, you will actually leave the comb in and follow with the flat iron behind the comb like this as you go through your hair. And that helps to get your hair straight. I don't know if it... You still got to watch your ends because like... If you stay on your ends too long, then you might split them. And the ends contribute to the length of your hair. So if you keep splitting your ends, yes, you can get them clipped. But your hair is getting shorter as you get them clipped. So, um, you don't want to leave the flat iron on your ends too long. And then eventually you might get it clipped, but if you can get less clipped versus getting more of it clipped, then that's better because you're retaining more length. So it's good to try to take care of your ends. And that's where you got to watch your heat styling because it can lead to you getting more split ends. So if you find other styles other than heat styling, You probably want to work with those too in order to avoid some unwanted split ends. If you comb through before you go in and flat iron, it helps to detangle some. The other technique that I was talking about, you would put the comb in, pull it up to where you can get the flat iron, and then you pull it, the flat iron behind the comb. 
to try to keep your M's lined up instead of being bunched up when you come through with the flat iron. Some of my roots are kind of, um, have kind of reverted back to their natural state. So, I'm trying to get my roots some too. This is faster because my hair was already flat ironed, but if I were going from a natural state, and especially if I were using the comb technique, it would take longer than what it's taking me right now. If you're new at flat ironing, don't worry if you can't go this fast. Just take your time and with practice, um, hopefully, you'll be able to speed up with it. So, going through my hair, it still feels some snag. And try not to rake through your hair really hard with the small tooth comb or with the large tooth comb, but especially not with the small tooth comb. Still doesn't really look right. Let's see what else I can do. Move some of this over here. It's starting to look better now. <laughs> um, can put this behind the ear. And think about it too. If you're gonna wear a hat, think about how you should do your hair for when you put your hat on. Because if you wear a style that goes back and you're putting on a hat, it's easier than maybe if you have like flips all up here and you're putting a hat on. Another thing you can do at night but it's still not always the best for your hair, but you can use foam rollers that keep you from going back to your flat iron, putting more heat on your hair just to curl it the next day. Once you get it straight, you can use rollers. The thing about rollers is that they're uncomfortable to sleep in if you don't find a good way to manage that. Um, and also you can put them in too tight and they can break your hair. If you move a lot while you're sleeping, you might get some of your hair broken that way. So, it has its advantages and disadvantages. If you want volume, just go to the roots and kind of lift it up. Like that. If you want, you can continue. You can continue to alternate your style. 
So that's it for my flat iron um, touch up video. I hope you will rate and subscribe. And if you have some good comments, some nice comments, then you can comment too. Thanks for watching.